Let me play me. Sit down the back and see. So it's a bit of a lie for me. The jump scares the fate to me. Sit down. Hello, Piggly That's the World, and today we're going to be talking about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So, the Direct came out. It was pretty alright. There's a few things that I wish was there. But for the most part, it was a pretty alright Direct. Strikers was probably the highlight for me. And I'm definitely doing a video on that. A lot, maybe like next week or so. I'm not sure. But I'm going to do a video on it pretty, pretty soon. But anyways, about Mario Kart. We got an announcement that we're going to get DLC and we're going to get a crap ton of courses, like 48 over six waves of the course of the next year or so. And it's going to be pretty amazing. So the courses that are in the first pack are Paris Promenade from Mario Kart Tour, Toad Circuit from Mario Kart 7, Choco Mountain from Mario Kart 64, Coconut Mall from Mario Kart Wii, Tokyo Blur from Mario Kart Tour, Shroom Ridge from Mario Kart DS, Sky Garden from Mario Kart Super Circuit, and Ninja Hideaway from Mario Kart Tour. Now, at first, that might sound pretty good, but if you look at the tracks and the detail that they have, it's basically none, because a lot of these tracks, or probably all of these tracks, are from Mario Kart Tour. You know, Coconut Mall is like the only track listed that's not like a port from Mario Kart Tour. But speaking by how it looks just like the other tracks do, it's probably going to be Mario Kart Tour pretty soon. Now we're going to cover what tracks from each game I think are likely, and the ones that I want most. Super Mario Kart doesn't have a lot of representation in the game, and I don't think it's going to get a lot in the new DLC. Because the only two tracks we already have are Donut Plains 3 and Rainbow Road, so I can only imagine us getting a few more in the DLC. Since we know they're taking courses from Mario Kart Tour and putting them into Mario Kart 8, we can have some pretty close guesses, probably pretty close guesses, to what might actually need the game. So, I think the most likely candidates for being in Mario Kart 8 in the DLC are Mario Kart Circuit 1, 2, or 3, which it could really be anyone because they're just so similar and I don't think they put more than one, let alone all of them, into it, but all of them are in Mario Kart Tour so it'd be easy to port. So we can assume that they'll put one of those in there. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and just say it's gonna be one because it just makes no sense. They also have Ghost Valley 1 in Mario Kart Tour. Now, I would have thought they would might have brought back Ghost Valley 2 since that was in Wii and that's what m most people started with when it comes to Mario Kart. But Ghost Valley 1's already in Tour, so it's going to be a lot easier to pour that over instead of making a brand new track. So, we'll probably get Ghost Valley 1 somewhere in it. Now we have Vanilla Lake 1, which is in Mario Kart Tour. I don't think any, it's really a fan favorite or anything, but I, since it's in Tour, it's probably be easy to pour over, so we'll probably take it over. And Koopa Beach 2 is also in tour, so it's probably going to be another one that's just easy to port over really quick. And yeah, it's basically the only way you can predict them are fan favorites and if they're in Mario Kart Tour already or not. There are two other SNES courses that are in tour that I don't think are going to be added, and those are Choco Island 1 and Choco Island 2. We already have Choco Mountain coming, so I don't think they're going to put Choco Island 1 or 2 in. Because if we put the tracks I already put in, that's enough representation for SNES, in my opinion at least, and it's quite a few tracks, and the tracks are bland and boring. And we already have a Choco track, so I don't know why they want to put another one in there. But of course it's all up to Nintendo, but I don't think we're going to get Choco on Island 1 or 2, so we'll cut those out, even though they're already in tour and they'd be easy to port over. Mario Kart 64 has a little bit more representation in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But we still only have four tracks, and those tracks are Royal Raceway, Toad's Turnpike, Yoshi Valley, and then N64 Rainbow Road. We hate farts, we hate farts, also la 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 la. We hate them so much, they are nasty and they are gross. 